Hello, my horny pimp sliders. The devil wants to show you his pants. What do you want to look at this blasted telescope for? I don't. Nicholas and Rex have been tasked with looking after an old friend's son. When they visit Simon, the son, he's having a party. And Nicholas noticed something odd. Simon has joined an astronomical club and his multicultural guests are the members. Simon is anxious for them to leave, but Nicholas noticed an observatory outside. A perfect reason to answer a feeling of dread is unfortunately answered. Simon has been a naughty boy. Echo Osiris! Echo Osiris! Fisher is in the chair and probably his best non-franchise movie for Hammer. Two future Bond villains, the star Christopher Lee as Scaramanga, the man with the golden gun. Charles Gray who would face Sean Connery in his last official venture as Blofeld in Diamonds Are Forever. Again we have Richard Matheson whose work I watched last week, Pit in the Pendulum and The Raven. He has given so much from his books to adaptations of other works to popular TV shows like The Twilight Zone, Star Trek and Steven Spielberg's Amazing Stories. Hammer is remembered for its many franchise movies. Dracula and Vampires, Frankenstein. There are so many standalone movies with monsters. The Gorgon. The Reptile, Plague of the Zombies. While these were received well, The Devil Rides Out was probably the peak, where some Hammer movies appear cheap, sexy, gory. There are many moments of brilliance. Demons and devils have appeared in many forms over the decades. They can be seen as a figure of fun and sometimes something serious. I know some people are gonna wanna slap me for this, but the devil was the first to demand equal rights. I digress. Look at legend and the witches of Eastwick, wanting the girl slash girls. The devil's advocate. You want a child? I want a family. The Antichrist. John Carpenter's Prince of Darkness. He wants to take over. We accept him into media since next to the typical religious yarn. He's fun regardless. What's that? 